Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins with Horston, the Dwarf Warrior. We're slightly rude and abrupt to people he doesn't know and doesn't like. And he's not, uh, you know, put off by killing the occasional person or leaving somebody to die. Is this the cash, Alistair? Look like the cash to you? Looks a bit battered and busted to me. Well, well. What the? What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these darkspawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What are you talking riddles? Speak English, woman. What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Hmm. Where do you come from? Stay back. Do I appear a stalking predator ready to leap upon her find? There is no need to fear me. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now, you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you? Yes. Swooping. <laughs> swooping She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Oh, here goes the witch damn babies the again. Wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, dwarf. You have nothing to fear from any witch. Tell me your name, and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. Fine, you can call me Horston. And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from witch dead thief? men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Tell us at once, or face the consequences. Twas my mother, in fact. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. It is not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers, if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. <sighs> Don't worry, there's four of us on one of her. What can she possibly do? Let's go. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. That's the spirit, me, Sajori. Then, if it pleases you. Go see what this woman's mother has to say. Greetings, mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Darrett. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things. But it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? 
Does your dwarven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? What do I believe? I'm no fool, if that's what you're asking. Oh, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? Why, it seems I do. So this is a dreaded witch of the wilds. Witch of the wilds, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> Which of the wilds? They did not she come like to listen to, to your wild tales, Mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... What? Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. What do you mean the threat is greater than they realize? Either the threat is more, or they realize less. <laughs> or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Hmm. Guests, indeed. So we have our treaties. Saved by some old woman. Some witch of the wild, apparently. Or possibly. Who speaks in more riddles than her daughter. But we got what we came for, so we shall return to camp and crack on with this damn ritual that we have so secretly been held from. But first I must temporarily pause it to get my fish and chips. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back. So, sorry I'm out of breath, I just had to go, <laughs> as I said, I went down to get my dinner. My fish and chips is sat next to me, and I've got seven minutes of this video left, so I'm gonna eat them afterwards. Which is a pain because I can smell when I'm starving. But enough about me. Where are we going first? How about we give this flower to this dog man? The Mabari stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Well, good job that I have the herb, isn't it? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. <laughs> he looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. Well, what will happen to him now? Let's give him a day or two to recover. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Hmm. Maybe so. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... Well, take another look. Okay. As I said before, I wouldn't mind having a dog companion. Let's back chat then these... humans. Ah, oh, this chest is undoubted, this don't mind if I take a peek, dear. Ah, excellent. Take it. That about wraps it up. Right, I think we're. Oh no, we're not done yet. We can sell a whole heap of stuff to the quartermaster. <laughs> Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, Pat? Let me know what. Yes, I want to sell. I don't know what to sell any of my weapons yet, because I'm sure my friends may be able to use some of them. But I can, I can definitely sell. Some of these. I can sell emerald and topaz and malachite and quartz and wolf pelts. That's about it, really. 61 out of 70. Wait a minute. Can we not buy like a um, extended backpacks? What would it come under? There you go! Extra backpacks. Yes, I'll buy one of them, thank you. 
Let's guess there's a bit of extra room. Right. Oh, look. It's that old Batty Wynn woman. Back again. Don't the Grey Wardens need you? Off you go. I have preparations to make for the battle and I won't be distracted. Yes, I don't think I got off to the good footing when we first met. She now seems to dislike me. Okay. Duncan, I have the things. 